All right, I'm back in action again. Sorry I haven't released as many videos as I would have liked to in the uh, past few days, but I've been feeling a little bit ill. Luckily, I didn't miss any uh, time from work, but the body still needed some time to rest and recover. Uh, thank you, everybody, for your comments and suggestions while I was away. Also, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Glad to have you aboard. Please contact me if you have any questions. All right, uh, in the past few days, I had five requests, five, for this new operating system. And uh, I've got it in the background here. This is designed to resemble and act and behave like Mac OS X. Today, we are looking at Pear OS 3. The, it's called Panther. Yes, of all things, Panther. And we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, it is time to think totally different. I think they should call it Think Linux. Yeah, because that's exactly what we're looking at here. The only difference is this behaves like Mac. And uh, you'll see that in a moment. First thing you're greeted with is the Pair OS Think Totally Different wallpaper. And if we right click on our desktop and select Change Desktop Background, you will see you only get two choices, blue or green. I, uh, in the intro portion of the video, obviously, I switched to the blue so that I could key out my new background. Yes, Santa Claus was good to me and gave me a really cool green screen to work with. Yay, I like this. And uh, in a moment, I'm going to see just how well this will key out. All right, so uh, that's all you get pretty much. Eh, not a whole lot there. All right, now, across the bottom, you get your trash can, you got contacts, you get the Pair OS Control Center, Clementine, Shotwell, Pair OS Mail, you get Opera, Back in Time, Pair OS App Store. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Let's have a look. Ha 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 ha. And then a little box appears upon the screen and does nothing. <gasps> hmm, that's weird. I actually installed this. I'm not running this as a, a live thing. Okay, cool. Now, when I installed this, it, it ran perfectly in English, but for some reason, it wanted to install French. Now, I know there's a way to change this, but I'm not going to really meddle with that right now. But at any rate, it looks simply, it looks like the uh, like the uh, Ubuntu Software Center or the Mint Software Center, if I'm not mistaken. But at any rate, it is what it is. This is based off of Ubuntu, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now, where did my docky go? <gasps> Ooh, that's not cool. Okay, well, this is acting a little bit buggy, aren't, isn't it? All right, well, let's send uh, control all backspace to kill uh, the X server. And we will log into this again. Insert control all backspace. Come on! Did we crash? Well, let's me change desktop background. Okay, so I have to physically close the system since it's not going to allow me to uh, insert control alt backspace. Let me try it this way. Nope. Okay, so we got a buggy operating system here. Okay, um, let me pause the video and I'll reboot the machine. Okay, so after a reboot, now we can go back into the uh, presentation here. Okay, we left off at the Pair OS uh, uh, App Store, which is nothing more. It looks more or less like the uh, Mint, um, the uh, the uh, Mint 
uh, software store or uh, software center. Then you have Launchpad and then you have Finder. We'll get to Finder in a moment. Because when you click the pair up here, you have a choice. System setting, displays, startup applications. Uh, soft, it's telling us that the software is up to date on the system. Printers, lock screen, log out, suspend, hibernate, and shutdown. And then, of course, in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you get this in military time. It's 11 p.m. here, Eastern time. And, of course, it wants to display in French. It was displaying English perfectly. I should have told it not to update the languages. This is a French distribution. It was running beautifully in English until I allowed it to do the update. Now it wants to display French. So, But there is a way to fix that, I'm sure. Okay, then you have a volume control network and mail right here. Now we get to Finder because this is how you're going to access all the applications that come installed with this. Okay, now Nautilus will open up here and you will go into applications here. And this is the listing of all the applications that come installed on this. You have screen savers. We can find out about PairOS Linux. Additional drivers, advanced settings, appearance, apt Earl, archive manager, archive mounter, auto run prompt, back in time. You can also run it as root. That's a uh, uh, that allows you to uh, back up your file system. Uh, you have the B A M F index, whatever that is. I'm not sure. You have bleach bit. Like the icon for that. I wish I had that icon. And then uh, you have Bleach Bit as root, Bluetooth, Bluetooth device setup, Bluetooth transfer, and Brazero. You get Calculator, Caribou, CD DVD Creator, Character Map, Cheese, Clementine, Color, Configuration Editor, Contacts, Date and Time, Deconf Editor, Defaults List, Desktop Sherp, Search, Dev Help, Disk Usage Analyzer, Disk Utility, Displays, Docky, Documents, Document Viewer, Empathy, Files, Finder, GW Package Installer, GEdit, Glade, Gnome Shell, Help, Home Folder, iBus, Iced T, Image Viewer, Input Method Switcher, of course a link to install the release and it's already installed. Why do they do that? You know, after you install the release they should remove the icon, right? Okay, it's what it is. Keyboard, <laughs> Keyboard Input Methods. Keyboard layout, key ring access, language support. Ah, that's where we go to fix the uh, language, but I'm not going to bother with this. Launch pad, lock screen, log file viewer, log out main menu, messaging and voice over IP accounts, MetaCity. Wow, comes with MetaCity. Hmm, wonder if we can do compiz with this. I doubt it, because this uses GNOME 3. Uh, my Minpo Cache, Mono Runtime, Mono Terminal. Mono is like, um, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Forget it. I'll come back to it later if it, I remember it. Mouse and Touchpad, Movie Player, Multimedia System Selector, Nautilus Actions, Configuration Tool, Network, and Network Tools, Notification, Daemon, Online Accounts, Java, Opera. Opera Widget Installer, Opera Widget Manager, Panel of uh, Passwords and Keys, the Pair OS App Store, Pair OS Control Center, Pair OS Mail, Pair PDF Viewer, Personal File Sharing, Power Power Statistics, Printers, Python. If you have uh, a HP LaserJet, looks like they have a driver already installed for it. Cool. Uh, Remaster Sys Backup, very useful tool. Removable media, report a problem, restart, root terminal screen, screensaver screenshot, search and indexing, indexing, search for files, shot well, shot where viewer, shut down, simple scan, software sources, sound, sound recorder, startup applications, startup disk creator, synaptic package manager, and they have it listed twice. System info, system monitor, System Profiler and Benchmark, System Settings, System Testing, Terminal Time and Date, Universal Access, Update Manager, User Accounts, UX, Term, View File, Wyacom Graphics Tablet, Window Manager, X Term, YPPA Manager. <sighs> you know, it would be nice if they had a menu with all these files 
neatly categorized. Obviously, maybe they don't do this in Mac. Um, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've used a Macintosh, but even then I thought they had them categorized. It would be nice if they had these categorized uh, and that sort of thing. And uh, obviously there is no menu with which to access these. I personally like the Linux menu because, hey, you install something, it neatly places it. Um, neatly places it where you can find it easily in this you're gonna have to pretty much dig through this entire folder just to find all of your applications and it's unknown whether if I install something if it's going to put a shortcut there um, and we all remember what happened when I went to launch the software center obviously we lost our top panel and we lost docky so this is a little buggy, or at least for me, running this in a virtual machine because I actually did install this. I am not looking at this as a live disk. Uh, so my impressions are it does look nice, but it's got some bugs in it. So uh, you may want, so if you do wish to install this and use it, make sure that you keep this thing up to date, update your PPAs and that sort of thing. And, uh, Pretty much, uh, that's all I can say about this. Um, not a whole lot for what they're offering on an 800 meg download. Eight, it was almost 900 megs to download this, I think. Uh, let me have a look at that and just double check that for sure and see how much that was. Uh, bleh, bleh. Let me go into show here. Okay, come on, open up. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, that was almost um, almost a gig, 964 megs of space. So it doesn't really give you a whole lot for what you're downloading. I think, you know, with that much, you know, they'd give you a little bit more. So, um, would I use this one? Not really. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I don't know. I'll have to continue looking at this. A little bit more and if I run into a number of other bugs this may be one I might want to add to my <clears throat> thumbs down list I don't know uh, I'll have to I'll have to think about that but I'll tell you what in the blanks below tell me whether you think this is smash or trash if I get enough people to say it's trash I'm gonna put this one in my terrible Linux distributions uh, playlist uh, but I will go ahead and throw this in my review list. If you have any other distributions that you'd like me to look at, please send me a private message. I'll try my best uh, to look at them. However, uh, before I'll uh, review any OS, I need to have, because of the number of requests that I have coming in, I'd like to see at least two or three requests from different people. You know, uh, that way I keep my queue down a little bit because I do have a lot of requests for different operating systems and that sort of thing so you know uh, so for before I review anything I'd like to see enough you know a few people request it first that way uh, I can focus on other things also coming up I've been meaning to uh, finish my uh, wine series however most of you made some requests for some games that I was not able to get running in Wine, but I still want to show methods for getting them running, either using virtualization or some other means. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I know my avid viewers, uh, you know, that watch all of my videos, they're waiting for the next uh, Wine episode. So uh, I am going to work on getting Diablo, Gothic 3, Pro Project Blackout, and Icewind Dale running in the uh, next wine episode. I uh, already tried Diablo 2 and Gothic 3 and I could not get them running under wine. So I'm going to try alternative methods to get them running so that we can play with those. And then uh, we'll explore uh, Project Blackout and uh, Icewind Dale together. All right, if you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Visit my blog and shout me a coffee. Lord knows I could use some more coffee grounds. That way I can be really crazy you know what i mean all right and uh thanks for watching i got more stuff headed your way